Hey, 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 friend. Welcome back to another episode of Side Hustle Growth Podcast. I'm your girl, the host, CJ, Side Hustle Success Coach. You know I'm all about breaking down any types of barriers. I want to make sure you all feel like a success in your side hustle. I want to empower you to chase your dreams. So if you're new here, I always like to ask, how are you doing? And you have to tell me how you're doing. So you can either, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below and let me know how you're doing. Or you can find me online. I'm on Instagram and LinkedIn predominantly at Kristen N. James. I'm everywhere at Kristen N. James. And today I want to get right into today's topic because I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed that isn't addressed enough. Okay. The, I want to preface this by saying we're not expecting every single person on the planet, <laughs> every single nine to five woman to want to start her own side hustle, to want to earn extra income. She's quite content in her job and maybe she does, she makes really, she has a really good salary and she she loves what she does or she's just settled in, into to the life that she leads. Okay. So this is not about, oh, you got to go start a side hustle. If you have a nine to five, you need to have another stream of income. That is not what it's about. It's just if you are exploring, you have thought about it, I feel like you should be able to pursue it. Either way, with that said, I'm diving into a topic that's very near and dear to my heart. And that's addressing why nine to five women, just to piggyback on what I just said, to address why nine to five women may hesitate about starting their own side hustle. So before we jump into it, let's clear up some misconceptions about what a side hustle really is. Okay. We hear the term a lot. I mean, I use it every single hour of every single day. We hear the term a lot. But contrary to popular belief, it doesn't have to be a glorified second business. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an empl employee and I'm an entrepreneur. In fact, let's go back to the basics and define it. How about that? So by define, I mean, go by going back to the basics, I mean, let's jump on Google. I Googled the definition of the term side hustle. And a side hustle is simply a piece of work or a job that you get paid for doing in addition to your main job. That's right. It's just all about earning extra income, whether it's through a small gig, freelance work, or something entirely different. So if you are not keen on launching a full-blown business, that's okay, sis. That is completely okay. There are plenty of side hustles and side hustle opportunities out there that are still waiting for you to explore them. So that's what we're going to go into today. But you know what I did to gain some perspective and to become here with some really, really authentic feedback and insight. I actually reached out to a few friends who are quite content in the nine to five with no desire, or so they say, no desire to start a side hustle. And I asked them three questions about side hustles. I asked them first, like I just gave the definition, I asked, what does the th term side hustle make you think of? First question. The second question I asked was, what's the biggest obstacle with starting one? And the third question I asked was, would you start a side hustle that didn't take the commitment of running a business? I was just trying to get some insight so I can bring this, this episode to you and inform it into something that you can, you can think about. So here's a summary of what they had to say. So my first friend, um, she said, and I'm reading, let me read this off, okay? So she said, for me, a side hustle is anything you do for income beyond your main job. The biggest obstacles are time and money. That's to be expected, right? Time and money. But if it didn't require the commitment of running a business, I'd be all in. The second friend said, honestly, the term side hustle sounds exhausting to me. The biggest obstacle is not knowing where to start and dealing with imposter syndrome. But if it didn't feel like starting a full-fledged business, I'd definitely be interested. And the third friend, I used to associate side hustles with network marketing. But now I see it as a way to bring in extra income, yay, without the pressure of running a business. 
fear and lack of imagination are my biggest hurdles. But if it didn't involve dealing with too many people, (laughs) I would consider it. So does any of this resonate with you? If you right now, you're in a nine to five, you don't have a side hustle yet. Does any of this resonate with you? What the, the, my friends had the feedback, my friends shared with me. It sounds like everyone is so used to putting in all this work and possibly little reward, depending on your experience at your nine to five, that they wouldn't even consider doing it in their free time. So here's what I'm thinking. If we just change our perspective a lot of that, because it all comes down to perspective. It comes down to mindset. And if you don't want to start a side hustle, I encourage you to explore what the experience really means to you without completely shutting it down. If you know that you're like, yeah, I would totally do it if it didn't take all this work or it didn't take all this thought, if it, if I can get over the imposter syndrome, it sounds like if there's something that there that you can or want to explore, then by all means, you should be exploring it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You should be exploring it. All right. But remember, no one is expecting you to start your own business. Okay. Entrepreneur is not for everyone. It is not. It's not meant to be for everyone. I have done an entire episode just talking about the glamorization of, of entrepreneurship. So you know how I feel, my stance on this whole thing. I'm not sitting here telling you, you should start your own business. You should start your own side hustle. You should become an entrepreneur. We should all be entrepreneurs. That's, that's not the reality. But <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to earn some extra income. No, does it? Especially, especially, sis, in this economy. Trust me when I say there are people who are doing quite well, quite well, and have the disposable income that can end up in your pockets. So I want to hear from you. How would you answer these questions? that I asked my friends, if there was no room for failure, because to me, if they were to overcome this fear of failure or fear of losing money or fear of being judged or fear of no one supporting and no one buying or doing the wrong thing, whatever it is, if they were to overcome these fears, they just might start their own side hustle. So what do you do when you're not keen on starting a second business, CJ? I actually will be going into that. because So stay tuned uh, for next episode. I have a guest episode next week and then the following episode. And I will actually be sharing some easy, low effort side hustle ideas that anyone can explore. Remember, it's all about finding what works for you and embracing the opportunities that come your way. If you do not want to, you like your free time to be your free time, do you, boo, I completely applaud you. All I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, if you can earn a little extra keys, Ash, Why not explore it? So I actually am going to share an episode just on that, answering the questions I posed to my friends. And they're saying, if it takes takes no effort, if I can do it without even thinking about it, if I knew I wouldn't fail, sure, I would absolutely do it. Okay, bet. Say less. I came up with, I did some research. I tried out some old, some a couple little side, quote unquote side hustles myself, just that were low effort, like just low, no brainer and earning extra income. And I will share those with you in the next episode. So I want to hear from you though. So remember, these are the questions I had asked my friends. What does the term side hustle make you think of? What is the biggest obstacle? you think about starting one? And would you start a side hustle that didn't take the commitment of running a like full business? If it was just about earning extra income, what would you do? I'm going to leave you there. That is today's episode. Nice, short, quick. I just wanted to touch on this topic because I do know Like my friends, they do listen to this podcast and sometimes they may feel like, okay, well, this isn't really for me because I don't have a side hustle or I don't want to start a side hustle. Or maybe they think they don't want to start a side hustle. So I got curious and I asked the questions and I made it into an episode and I want to, now I want to hear from you. So 
comment below. If you're watching on YouTube or find me on Instagram, find me on LinkedIn, let's connect. The, the links to everything, of course, will always be in the description if you want to connect. If you're trying to figure out, can I, should I, what is this whole side hustle thing, this side hustle movement, do I want to be a part of it? You can always reach out to moi, your girl CJ, at my website, kristennjames.com. Again, the link, everything is linked, linky linked in the description. You can book a 15-minute uh, vibe check with me. Let's chat. Let's chat and see what comes up. And we can take things from there. Maybe you decide, you know, yeah, this side hustle thing is not really for me. Or maybe you'll realize that idea that I have. Or I didn't even think of doing that thing. Thank you, CJ. I can give you some insights. So let us connect. Don't just sit there if you're thinking about it. You can't figure out what to do next. I'm here. I'm here to support you in any way that I can, okay? So that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, follow. Please share with your nine to five friends. Tell them about the podcast. Let's make this into a movement of just women empowering each other. Thanks for being here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. 